So yeah, I am about to commit career suicide now by criticizing two important topics. The first one being the CIA and the second, Black Panther. So uh, yeah, wish me luck luck with that. And uh, continuing on, like most people, I avoided the big trash heap that is the Oscars because I don't know about you, but watching rich people kind of pat themselves on, excuse me, sorry, let me clarify here. Watching rich sexual predators and their victims pat themselves on their backs and award themselves and celebrate themselves, that really something I like to enjoy because it's, it's, it's pretty dumb. But one thing I found extremely intriguing is that the CIA's Twitter account that usually is very reserved, rarely posts, started for some reason obsessively tweeting about Marvel's movie Black Panther, a part of their quote, hashtag real versus real CIA series, and launched a tweet storm about the movie, which left me asking the question, why is the CIA promoting Black Panther and talking about nanotech smart dust? Which... Of course, we're going to try to answer in this video. So yeah, before our careers are totally trashed for being critical of the CIA and Black Panther, please, please don't forget to go to wearechange.org and sign up on our email list. It's just right in the top-hand corner, and you get to sign up to our free newsletter, which of course will also give you exclusive content for free. We also have a paid membership that keeps us fully free and independent, and we of course hope you check that out as well, since of course we are supported and backed by you. So yeah, don't forget to check out the donate page too. But seriously, sign up on that email list, because if we get screwed by the algorithm or have our channels deleted, the only way to really hear from us or keep us alive is through that email list. So, uh, yeah, so please sign up there. Now, let's just be honest here because the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency, is really a controversial, unaccountable agency that previously was caught financing terrorists and selling drugs here in the United States. So I do have to say it's very strange to see headlines, especially like this from Fox News saying, quote, why I love the Oscars this year, and so did the CIA. Sorry, you did not, Mr. Trump. And it is definitely strange, to say the least, to see this secretive covert agency obsessing about a movie of all things in what allegedly is their campaign supposedly to educate readers about the agency and help distinguish its fictional portrayal on film from reality and i'm here like um hmm because honestly if we look at movies movies are a form of entertainment but they're also a form of kind of hypnosis a form of mind control that of course plays on your subconscious and implants ideas on there this is why a lot of cigarette companies pay top dollar to have movie stars smoke cigarettes inside of major movies. We saw this, of course, especially in Die Hard, especially after, what's that bald guy's name? Oh, he had hair here. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis was, of course, filmed smoking a cigarette after a very tense scene with him relaxing, being a superhero of that story. Cigarette companies pay top dollar for that kind of subconscious engineering, which again is a very low level form of mind control and hypnosis. Now, surely if of course cigarette companies are in the game of implanting messages in movies to of course gain profits, why wouldn't governments do that? Or of course secretive unaccountable government agencies that fund terrorists and sell drugs. And now if we look at the movie Black Panther, which I have to honestly say here, was an okay movie. It was average. I don't know why people were claiming it's one of the best, most amazing, most spectacular movies. It was it was okay. It was just all right. But if you look at Black Panther, during the movie, a CIA officer plays the main hero in the story, whose efforts, of course, save the fictional non-colonized city of Wakanda in that movie. Now, personally, I do not think that this is accidental at all, especially since previous Freedom of Information Act requests have found out that U.S. government agencies predominantly coming from the military, have been playing a very significant roles in many movies, as even The Independent points out that Flight 93, Ice Road Truckers, and even Army Wives have been receiving backing from the Pentagon. And of course, the CIA is one of these government agencies that has a historical extent of shadowy involvement inside of Hollywood. Many filmmakers, producers, and even actors have been previously revealed to be CIA agents. And their involvement, of course, is very questionable because their involvement is 
very clear that it does exist, but it is still surely unknown to what extent. With even some people and even some learning institutions going as far as to even claim that the CIA shapes many of the popular films and televisions out there. And I believe that is very, very, very possible. Especially if you look at a lot of the cohesive messaging that a lot of these top Hollywood movies have. Now, we even see other government agencies like the Department of Defense last year during the Oscars even publicly tweeting, it's Oscars Sunday, and did you know that the Department of Defense works with Hollywood to ensure the military is correctly portrayed in films? Again, this is a government agency which should not be trusted <laughs> at all and for freak six people trust me they're not trying to make sure that the military is correctly controlled as you're about to see because with this involvement and this cozy relationship be between government agencies and hollywood of course on just the smallest level alone the government agencies allow movie producers and filmmakers to play with some of their toys, their military tanks, their military equipment, as well as the people who could operate them for movies, for their special effects, in exchange for, of course, helping to read and edit the script to make sure that, quote, the military is correctly portrayed. But is that really what they're doing? And again, this is just the lowest level of relationship and participation that is happening between government agencies and Hollywood. But Within, within this instance, we have even found out that the government has removed references, specifically in the movie Hulk, that came out in 2003, which alluded that the U.S. military used chemical weapons, pesticides, and other poisons on the Vietnamese countrysides, which caused a tremendous amount of damage. The government agency, nope. You're not making a reference or talking about any of that if you want our support. And the Hulk complied about, again, true events, if you, of course, look into Agent Orange and the U.S.'s history of using this biological weapon in Vietnam. It's not just the Hulk. It's also Iron Man and Transformers. By the way, Iron Man and the Hulk were made by the same studio as, of course, Black Panther as well. But it's a slew of other movies. Terminator, Transformers, King Kong, Superman. All these movies have been changed because a government agency does not want you to learn about a particular truth about them. In Iron Man specifically, talk about soldier suicide was removed, which, of course, is a big epidemic that we have to face in and not censor in the United States. As even The Guardian points out, a quote, national emergency with the suicides rate spike among young U.S. veterans. A fact that government agencies are manipulating to not even have discussed in movies. And of course, this larger extortion racket where they just openly lie to you. And these instances go on and on and on with countless of movies who are being manipulated, censored, and altered to, of course, push a certain narrative. And there's too many narratives to even mention here with all the instances that this happened but we have to ask the question here what's the kind of bigger narrative here behind black panther that the cia so gleefully enjoys talking about and promoting now of course i think it's important to entertain all ideas and possibilities here because again we're entering into the world of speculation since there's very little evidence if if any really to pinpoint us to a direct answer to this bigger question and i think that's important to note here to have an intellectually honest discussion about this one theory could be the promotion of diversity which the cia says according to time magazine and their anonymous sources that it is their latest mission to improve diversity both inside and out of the agency which looks like they have been doing that with a lot of major position moves and terminology used by this kind of wider push for diversity promoting a film that is known for that during an award ceremony that many people are calling a quote banner year for diversity as that movie won three awards during it now, whether you think diversity is a good thing or bad thing, that's a whole another subject in itself that we will not be getting in this video. But other people would probably argue that this is something that the media doesn't need to be manipulated 
to do in itself. Another possibility could of course be a broader conversation and introduction to new technology which could be being prepared for public consumption. Specifically because the majority of the CIA tweets were about new advanced technology, specifically nanotech smart dust technology, which of course has very, very terrifying and worrying implications. But according to some already exists and has been used in the form of military use before. Now that of course is also one possibility that we could entertain here. And the last ones that I really wanted to entertain that it could actually be all of the above and none of the above since the CIA usually posts pretty ridiculous and uh, stupid stuff sometimes. Now of course if you look at the historic media manipulation that the CIA has been doing for a number of years now that is very well documented uh, that's a little bit less likely of the case, to be honest, from, again, my own personal opinion. But what do you think? Let me know, of course, in the comment section below if you think if it's outcome one, two, three, or none of the above. But regardless of that, this government's agency's involvement with Hollywood should be extremely worrying and concerning regardless if you liked the movie or not. Again, it was just an average movie. Like, I don't know why people were go freaking going crazy over black paint it was okay it, it honestly wasn't that good and and i agree with some of the criticism that the cia has been receiving from this of course tweet storm which is pretty hilarious in itself people saying stop it comparing the cia to mr burns of the simpsons trying to be cool and overall just a larger repudiation of this kind of bigger pr stunt that has me talking about it I thought this was a pretty pointed response to it all, saying, quote, Disgraceful. This agency dropped the ball on 9-11. San Bernardino, Fort Hood, and so many other intelligence failures. Maybe you should spend less time tweeting about Hollywood and fiction, dot, dot, dot. And I think that's a very valid point being made here. Since, you know, this is an agency that is hired by us, is supposed to be working for us, is financed by our money especially from an agency that has been financing terrorists for decades now even recently and of course shipping in drugs helping out not only drug cartels but dictators all around the world overthrowing democratically elected leaders without of course any accountability so yeah before i get black bagged and sent down to gitmo i still think it's very important to understand the hidden hand and influence that we have in our entertainment industry and the messages that are being sent to us because of that for me personally there's a bigger agenda being played here especially dividing and conquering people so we hate each other so we attack each other and don't focus on solving real problems and going after the creators of those problems which usually are very powerful individuals or institutions or organizations or businesses that have been able to buy themselves special privileges let's just be honest here this is the reality of the world that we're living in and of course we're never going to deal with these bigger institutions these bigger problems corporations governments if we just keep fighting each other and to me the media especially in today's day and world is focused and centered on doing that more in our society than ever. And that's why I think it's extremely important for people to understand that usually if you're consuming a piece of entertainment, especially if it's Hollywood or a big money production, there usually is some kind of sinister hand or motive in there that you should look out for and be aware of. Be aware of. That's just my personal opinion. If you agree with me, share this video with your friends and family members. And please, again, before I get black bagged and get mode, put the email in here we are change.org just go there put the subscribe to our email list because there's a whole bunch of hooey happening with our youtube channel in the back end that absolutely makes no sense and uh, yeah we're talking about issues that again no one else does so if you support us thank you from the bottom of my heart your donations your shares your clicks your cryptocurrencies everything means the world to us and if it wasn't for you i wouldn't be here and that's why I love you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on youtube.com forward slash we are change.